pregame has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. To Haas for Big three. Shot. Yes! Top of the key three for T.J. Haas. BYU Basketball is presented by Deseret First Credit Union. You know why. We show you how. Les Olson Company, your office technology partner. Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. It's time to play BYU basketball. No look low to Yo. Yo throws it down again. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. It is time to meet tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union. For the visitors, the Southern Utah Thunderbirds, 2-0 on the year, coached by Todd Simon in his fourth season. He replaced Nick Robinson. Now on Mark Pope's staff here at BYU. At the point, number four, Dre Marine, six foot, 170 pound junior from Glendale, Arizona. At the two, number one, Jacoby Long, 6'5, 208 junior, Mustang, Oklahoma, transfer from Iowa State. At the three, number 23, Cam Luyatin, 6'7, 195 senior, Sugarland, Texas, Boise State transfer. At the four, number 25, Dwayne Morgan, 6'8, 218 senior, Baltimore, Maryland, UNLV transfer. And the starting center, number 32, Andre Adams, 6'9", 230, senior, Avondale, Arizona, transfer from Arizona State. Mark Durant has your BYU Cougars. Backcourt for BYU is number 30, TJ Haas, and number four, Alex Barcelo. Jake Toulson's your three-man. He's number five. Dalton Nixon, four-man, number 33 out of Orem High School. He's a senior, and at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 40, Colby Lee, the sophomore out of Meridian, Idaho. That's your starting five for the one-on-one Cougars, coached by Mark Pope. Greg, I'm a little nervous about this, and this should be fun. Officials tonight, Vern Harris, Mike Reed, Kelly Self. Mike Reed has the ball ready for play. Tosses it up, and Andre Adams slaps it back to to Jacoby Long, and we are underway here at the Marriott Center. SUU in the all-blacks with red going left to right. BYU in the all-whites with blue going right to left as we see it and you hear it. First possession of the game for the T-Birds. Driving to the rim and hammering it home with the right hand. Dwayne Morgan, (laughs) 2-0 T-Birds. Yeah, Dalton's got to be better than that. He got beat on a first step, and then it was clear sailing. 30 seconds in. Cooks down two zip. Dalton, post feed, mid-alley left. He's back to the basket. Is back to Morgan. Bounces twice on him, three times on him. Ball slapped out of his hands, taken away. A steal by the T-Birds on the Cooks' first offensive set. Tough start for Dalton. Marine, dribble handoff on the right wing to Jacoby Long. Long between the circles. Morgan on the arc left side. Into a three, takes, back rims, rebound A.B. Alex Barcelo clears for BYU. Into front court, left side. Barcelo, a quick feed down low to Colby Lee. Colby Lee with two bounces and three and four to the middle. Send out to A.B., takes a bump on his penetration, non-shooting foul, first of this game. Goes against number four, Dre Marine. First foul on the T-Birds, one minute and five seconds in. Southern Utah two, BYU zero. Southern Utah one for two to start. BYU's not taken a shot yet. Turned it over on their first offensive series. Yeah, they're going low to post moves and taking a lot of time off the dribble and not going to get a lot of success there anyway. TJ over the shoulder from the right elbow to the left wing. Dalton for three. And that's three threes on the year for Dalton Nixon after one all of last year. So Dalton gives BYU the 3-2 lead. Our first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of the night for BYU. $50 more donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union and the T-Birds. Turned over in the front court. Fumbled it out of bounds. Morgan did, and really unforced error there. Nice shot from Dalton. He's finding his stroke, Greg. That's where he can hurt teams, not so much on the block, posting up, but step out. That Bring that four-man out on the three. They're not going to guard him. BYU up 3-2. Nixon between the circles, wing left side, T.J. Haas. They drop it downstairs, left block to Toulson. Toulson to the middle, back to the base, go back to the middle with a jump hook and a score. Jake Toulson makes it five in a row for BYU, and the Cougs take a 5-2 lead. It's really your best post-up option. Toulson, Connor Harding, uh, even Trevin Nell, get that three-man down on the block, posting up. T-Birds out front. Camel Luyatin had the game-winning shot at Nebraska, beat Toulson right to the rim, lays it up and in. A couple easy, easy shots at the rim. Dalton fakes a three right wing. They cycle it. Toulson to Haas on the wing left. Now Colby Lee, mid post left side. There's two bounces and three and four. A pickup, a send out. 
to Barcelo on the right wing. Now T.J. Haas between the rings on a 12-second shot clock. Two and a half minutes gone here at the Marriott Center. BYU by one. T.J. will drive it, scoop it, and miss it a little strong. Rebound to Marine. Little off balance and did not the right touch off the window. It's 5-4. to four. BYU T-Birds in front court. Aluyatin top of the key to Andre Adams straddling the new three-point line. Pivots and hands off to Aluyatin. He'll drive it, kick it out, and offensive foul charge on the T-Birds. So on the drive by Aluyatin, knocks a Cougar over and picks up his first and the T-Birds second of half number one. 17-17 to go in half number one. Cougs up 5-4. to four. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 25 years. It's not a good three-point shooting team. They want to take it right to the rim. That time Dalton was helping, took the charge. Nixon. Nice back door to A.B. Barcelo hands off to Kobe Lee. Went for the dunk, but he was hit on his way up. And Kobe Lee will go to the line to earn it with two free throws, where he's been good this year at the stripe. And that foul to Adams, his first. So three on the T-Birds. BYU yet to foul. And Kobe Lee now at the line for two. BYU's up one, five to four. Kobe on the year. Limited number of attempts, but 86%. A far cry from last year's 25. He's made great strides at the stripe. And here he goes for the first of two. And makes... Big number 40 out of Meridian, Idaho. Played in 17 games last year, so got in on almost half of the games played. He's been a starter from the get-go this cool. year. And that's nice. two for two, and man, alive. And he only took 12 last year. No, three for 12. It's at the hard yeah. when you don't get many opportunities. He'll get in the groove, and he's looking good. BYU's up three again. Game high lead equaled at seven to four. T-Birds in front court. Again, a baseline 4A by Morgan. A drift pass to the left corner. Driving to the rim is Oluyatin. Banks and scores. He thought about cuffing and hammering. Got hit, leaned back, and banked it off the window. Well done by Oluyatin. And 7-6, to six, BYU by one. But everything for the T-Birds now right yeah, to the rim. They may have to go zone. They're just not able to guard them one-on-one yet. Nixon. Wing left, Hawes. Looks for a post feed. Jake's pushed out to the short post on the reception. Now turns to face and now backs down. Oluyatin to the middle. A send out to the right corner. Dalton again for three. Again. Dalton Nixon. Another three-pointer. The Cougars lead by a game-high four now at 10-6. to six. A nice find from Toulson. Didn't force it. New Dalton's in the corner. Another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. 10-6 to six, Cougs. Almost four minutes gone here at the Marriott Center. Morgan doubled. Low to Adams. Out to Oluyatin for three. And that's strong. The rebound chased down by Colby Lee. Good job. Nice hold off by Colby. Good box out. That's a focus for BYU. Boxing out a guy every time. Toulson to the arc right, nice. to the base right, to the rim. Blocked shot at the rim. Southern Utah recovers. Marine to front court left side. Dray Marine terminates on the wing left. Reverse there, Greg. He knew this guy was coming behind him. Adams hands off to Morgan. Morgan on the bump. Shoves away Lee. Drives. Holds it over his head. I think traveled with it. And they'll call the travel. It'll be timeout and BYU basketball next. So turnover by the T-Birds. BYU a four-point lead, 10-6. to six. We have 15.40 to go until halftime. We're taking a break here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. We are in the Mo Betta's courtside seats. A reminder to text the word ALOHA to 88588. For five Mo Betta's bucks, that's right, $5 of free Mo Betta's food can be yours by just texting the word ALOHA to 88588. Mo Betta's Hawaiian-style food. Text the word ALOHA and get five Mo Betta's bucks. So good. Mo Betta's. I eat there frequently. And, Mark, you probably uh, probably should, too. Well, I'd like to. Why don't you ever invite me? <laughs> You're only my friend during the game. <laughs> no, what's this? What's Prima this? Donna. This not true. <laughs> All right, 15.40 to go until halftime. BYU's got a four-point lead, 10-6. to six. I'm, a, I'm so impressed with the athleticism of SUU. If this was just a, a one-on-one competition, BYU'd get drilled. But they got to be better as a team and really get good looks. They've got good looks from Dalton. He's hit a couple threes, and that's been successful for them. But they've struggled containing them on the defensive end. Southern Utah's one Utah guy is in the game. Out of Saratoga Springs, Mason Fawcett has checked in. Returned missionary, served down in Fort Worth. The one homegrown, if you will. Nixon to Toulson. Back to Dalton beneath the basket. Fakes, fakes, goes up, blocked. Taken away by the T-Birds. BYU's been blocked at the rim a couple of times. John Knight, the third, drive and kick. Oluyatin, a right corner to Fawcett. Back to Knight. Knight will drive, bank, and miss a little strong. Rebound to T.J. Haas. BYU 10, Southern Utah 6. Barcelo in the front court left side. Terminates on the wing left. And a post feed to Lee. Lee to the middle. Jump hook up. There it is. Kobe Lee 
with a jump hook over David and Jai, the seven-footer. Well, he asserted himself that time much more aggressive and just used that big bo- bo- bottom to uh, move him out of the paint. Back that thing up. Listen, you got it. Use it. 12 to 6. BYU doubling up the T-Birds now. Nice recovery from the Cougs after going down very early in this one. Been strong since. Knight on the arc right. John Knight stripped by T.J. Haas. Clean steal by T.J., who now beats Knight into front court left side. John Knight the third. Deep. The handoff to Toulson from Haas. Missed the three straight away and the rebound. Saved in on the end line by the T-Birds. Southern Utah from back to front, down 12 to 6. Oluya Tim will drive it. Hand off to Fawcett. Fawcett bobbled it on the baseline turnover. Mason Fawcett just fumbled it out of bounds. It'll be BYU basketball. Five turnovers already from wow. the Thunderbirds. Just one for BYU. Points off of turnovers. Four zip. We'll see if the Cougars can add to that tally here as they take a possession off of a miscue. Inbound to Barcelo. BYU 12, Southern Utah 6. Zach Selyus has checked in for the Cougs. Toulson left side. Celia's top side, Haas on the right side. TJ holds it high, goes in the right corner to Jake Toulson. Toulson trying to get around Harrison Butler, and there's a bump in the back by Butler. That's team foul number four against Southern Utah to zero for BYU. When will this thing begin to even up? Harrison Butler with the foul on the hip check on the short corner. So 14.06 now to go till halftime. BYU's up 12-6, gets the ball back on the base. Basically an ISO clear out for Jake Toulson and he just backed his man down. They said uh, he was pushing from behind on Jake. Inbound to Celius, top of the key, Lee. The handoff to Haas. High screen set by Zach, who pops as TJ drives and banks and scores high off the window. Expertly done by TJ Haas. BYU now by a game high eight at 14 to six. <laughs> That's a tough shot. High and soft, baby. Put it up there. Seven nothing, BYU run. Harrison Butler, deftly with the left hand. Off a little step through. And Butler has his first two. 14-8, BYU by six. A right wing drive from Celius and turns it over on the end line on a drift pass. Picked off by John Knight, the third. Knight stumbles into the paint, traveled with it. Another turnover. That's six now for Southern Utah, to two for BYU. Knight's really trying to push it in transition, but trying to force it through two BYU Cougars. Trips on himself and uh, gets a turnover. So 14-8 to our score. Harrison Butler a moment ago ending a 7-0 BYU spurt. We'll see Jake Toulson check out. Jake checking out with a couple of points on one for three shooting. And Connor Harding will spell Toulson. Harding in. And Harding's had a really solid start to the season for BYU. 13-13 to play here in the first half. BYU 14, Southern Utah 8. Celius on the bounce, goes topside to Lee. Coming to meet is Harding. Harding now straight away, wing left to Zach. Everything outside the arc for the Cougs. They hand off their Hawes. Hawes, top of the key, Lee. Dribble hand off Barcelo. Head fakes the three. A driving kick. They go low to Lee. Lee blocked at the rim, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws. He got bailed out that time. You just, you can't get blocked by a guard down low. You got to be patient, step through. That was lucky for BYU. Did get hit on the arm, but lucky. Well, Coach Todd Simon gesturing, I think, to the fact that there are five team fouls against his guys and none against BYU. We're almost seven minutes in. We're more than seven minutes in, 7.06, as Colby Lee goes to the line for two. And missing there, having gone two for two to start. 14-8, BYU by six. That last foul went to John Knight. So five T-Birds with one foul apiece for Southern Utah's five fouls. Trevin Nell checks in for the first time, and Dalton Nixon to re-enter for BYU. SUU really extending the D on the three. BYU's got to make them pay with backdoor cuts and drives to the basket. But then you got to know that a shot blocker's coming up behind you. Two nice-looking free throws to start and two not-so-nice on the next trip. Colby Lee goes 0 for 2, and BYU's lead stays 6, 14 to 8. Dre Marine on the Oval Y logo. Enters it. To Njai, oh, top wow. of the key, and there comes the first team foul against BYU. You could have bet the farm that there was going to be a foul called this possession, but really no harm, no foul away from the ball. Connor Harding picks it up. Kobe Lee has a seat. Dalton Nixon in. I guess there was a foul. There was no harm, but there was, there was a foul. A, there was a minimal harm, some foul. <laughs> Off the inbounds. Marine straight away. 
Gets a pick from Fawcett. Dribbles left wing. Went into a three. Was stripped out of his hands. That may go as a turnover. I'm not sure. Ball came out of his hands on the way up. The lob low to Nixon. Nixon on a send through to Trevin Nell for three. And that's airmail long. Right into the hands of a T-Bird. Long pass to Fawcett. Front court right. Fawcett will drive. Send in the corner. Marine for three. And that's short. Got his own rebound though to Marine. Beneath the basket. Sends high to Fawcett. Touch pass to Butler. Butler slaloming into the paint. Scoops up a shot that misses. Rebound by Connor Harding. Cross court. Down floor. Zach Selyus. Selyus charge. Knocked over Fawcett. Turnover BYU. Turnovers now 7-3. Southern Utah 7. BYU 3. Score stays static at 14-8. We've been 14-8 for almost uh, two minutes. Zach had a lot of space to just pull up and shoot that three. He tried to force it. And easy call for the refs. Timeout coming on the next whistle. We're under 12 to go here in the first half. BYU's lead is a half dozen. Butler double teamed on the left block. A send out to an open faucet for three. And that's no good. Southern Utah not shooting it well. The rebound stolen by Harding out of the clutches of Barcelo. That's okay. Barcelo then to the paint and the pass to the corner gets touched to Harding. Harding will drive and kick. See a deflection out of bounds and it'll be BYU basketball after this. 11.31 to play in the first half. BYU 14, Southern Utah 8 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Two upsets, two finals in college basketball. 16th ranked Ohio State defeating 10th ranked Villanova 76-51. And VCU takes down 23rd ranked LSU by 2, 84-82. Back to the Marriott Center and Greg Rubel. Shep, thank you. BYU's taken just four threes tonight, made two of them, making it 188 consecutive games with a three-pointer made for BYU. The Cougs lead by 6, 14-8 as we check back in. 11.31 to go until halftime here at the Marriott Center. Cougars in front court away from us to our left. They go right to left here in the first half. A nice spin by Brosello. Beat Marine to the hoop, and then he was blocked there. Deflected out to the Cougs on the three-point line. Celius on the wing right side. Straight away, Connor Harding. Harding guarded by Fawcett. Dribble handoff, Barcelo. Open path. Goes to the rim again. Blocked again. And the shot clock violation. BYU sees these gaps, but they close quickly as the Cougars yeah. get toward the rim. I'm not sure what Alex thinks is going to happen. you got to... 6'9 guy that can jump out of the gym. He's going to block the shot. What you do is you find kind of that soft spot from the three-point line to the rim, pull up for a little 5-foot, 10-foot runner. He's good at those. 4 nothing block shots right now in favor of Southern Utah. 11-12 to go until the break. BYU still 14-8 the lead. The Cougs haven't scored in almost three full minutes. That spun out from Dwayne Morgan. Tough luck for Morgan right at the rim as BYU takes the rebound and heads down floor. Southern Utah shooting 4 for 11 right now. BYU 5 for 12. TJ deep and got it. Top of the key. Three-pointer for TJ Haas. And the Cougars go up a game-high 9, 17 to 8. That's another Mountain America Credit Union. Three-pointer for the Cougs. Let's not go under the three-point screen. Fawcett hands off Marine. Marine takes a bump from Celius. No call. Back to Fawcett. Three-point land left. Corner. And now short corner left to Morgan. Turnaround jumper on Nixon. Good. Dwayne Morgan's got four. Turnaround on the base. He saw a couple of those the other night against yep. SDSU. Man, I want to see how. That's a tough shot. That's a high degree of difficulty. That fadeaway court, that baseline little jumper. 17 10. BYU's lead back to seven was nine a moment ago. Game high lead of nine. That was BYU's game high lead against San Diego State. Never got to 10. Nice turnaround on the base right for Jake Toulson softly off the window. He scores to give Cougars back their nine point lead, 19 to 10. Got a mismatch at the point guard for SUU. Easy bucket for Jake. 9.58 to play here in Provo. Dre Marine on the front court right side, guarded by Haas. Feeds it to Butler. Butler squeezes it up at the rim and scores. Butler's got four. Three T-Birds, four points apiece. Oluyatin, Morgan, and Butler. All with fours. That makes 12. BYU's lead 19 to 12. Haas. Just inside the arc, left side to Toulson. Drives, banks short, got his own rebound, tries to go back up with it, and he's fouled on his way up. That'll be team foul number six against Southern Utah. BYU won't shoot yet, but they will shoot the rest of the way, and that's Dwayne Morgan picking up his first. So isn't that something? Six team fouls for the T-Birds. It's six players with one foul apiece. Well, this is a mistake that Marin has matched up on Jake Toulson. Now he's guarding Haas, which is what they should do, but last two times down, Jake has had a big mismatch on the post with uh, Marin. Fawcett will check out. Aluyatin is in. Celius on the base left. 
to Toulson. Arc left. Between the circles now to TJ. Marine stays with Hawes to the bump. TJ will drive it around Marine to their block right and banks off the window for the score. TJ Haas taking Marine low and scoring over to make it 21-12. BYU in a rush to go up nine at 9.09 to go till halftime. 21-12, our score. Seven for Haas. Knocked away on the post feed, but getting it back with the T-Birds right wing. Marine outside on the right side of the floor and a foul beneath the basket well away from play. An innocuous little push maybe on Zach that time. Selyus picks it up. So on Zach, that is one. On BYU, number two, team foul is six to two. I oh, beg your pardon, that's two on Zach, three on the team, Mark. Yep. So 6-3, the ta- uh, team foul total, and no T-Birds more than one foul, and Zach's already got two, and he's back on the bench. And foul trouble did him in against San Diego State, and Five, Aztec, or the uh, T-Birds can't get it in in time, as they call timeout with 9.02 to play. We'll stay right here. I think we'll take a 30 here, so we'll stay. So 9.02 to play in half number one, and BYU's lead is 21-12. to TJ with seven. Nixon with six. Four for Toulson and Lee gets you to 21. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by Edge. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you'll sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or visit us online at EdgeD2D.com. Six points off seven turnovers for SU. Nice job, BYU, getting after it. But this last possession, they had it. They knocked it away. Nice defense and let SU get it back. So a second chance opportunity here on this possession. 20-second shot clock for the Thunderbirds in their front court. They'll trigger beneath the basket to the right of the hoop. Jacoby Long, the trigger man. All the way to the half court line to Kamaluyaton. BYU's lead nine. Never yet double digits here tonight. Slow bounce near the center circle for Jacoby Long. Harding goes over the screen. Right to Morgan for three. Heavy. Rebound. Three Cougs go up forward and it falls tonight, but then yanked away by Nixon. Good job by Dalt. And the Cougs clear. And BYU is out rebounding Southern Utah right now. Colby double teamed in the post. Out to Harding. Harding will penetrate. And right wing Toulson. Toulson holds it high. Starts a bounce toward the top of the key and takes it to the left wing. 15 second shot clock. 8.25 game clock. BYU 21. Southern Utah 12. BYU looking for its first double-digit lead of the night. Hesitation move by TJ. will drive it to the rim. Short on the lane attempt and rebounded by Kamal Aluyatin down the middle. Dalton gave it up. Lost the handle. Coming the other way are the Cougs. Nixon right wing. Slow bounce toward the top. Connor the hand off Toulson. Didn't see him. They cycle it to Haas. He'll jab from three. Will go low to Lee. Mid post right now to Colby. Colby to the middle. Mismatch. Jump hook with the right hand is heavy off the window and rebounded by the T-Birds. That should have been an easy, easy bucket. Eluyatin jabbing on the wing left side. A left corner drive from Jacoby Long. A send through to Morgan. They cycle it night to Butler. Butler scooping, laying good with the right hand. Harrison Butler's got six off the bench, and a BYU player got hit in the aftermath. Southern Utah draws within seven. Timeout on the floor. 7.36 to go until halftime. BYU's lead 21-14 over the T-Birds of SUU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. For more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball presented in part by Sierra West. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices, and three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jeweler as we price match. BYU, 21. Southern Utah, 14. 7.36 to go until the interval here at the Marriott Center. Greg Rubel and Mark Durant with you, your commentary tandem. Friday night will be you and Jason Shepard from Houston. It'll be Cougars and Cougars as BYU takes on uh, UH, a significant non-conference contest. Yeah, I'll miss you, but I'm looking forward to that one. Houston, I don't know how they're doing this year, but, man, they've been good the last couple years. They opened the season last night. Uh, Alabama State, I believe, was the opposite. They were one of the last teams to actually have their opener last night. Houston, they won it comfortably. They'll be 1-0 when the Cougars come to town. Cougars hope to come in 2-1. Token full court man pressure. Connor starts it with T.J. Haas. T.J. on the hop to the left wing. Hands off there to Jake Toulson. Lobs it to Colby Lee at the top of the key. Let's Harding run through. Harding sets a screen for TJ. The pass goes low to Lee and knocked away, taken away. Turnover Cougs. 
Left wing, Dre Marine for the first three for the T-Birds. It's in and out. They're 0 for 6 from 3, and they track down the rebound. John Knight stops on the right block, sends to Adams to the rim up and in. Andre Adams, offensive rebound, second chance, score. Colby, for one, has to get that pass, and for another, has to defend better than that. 21 to 16, BYU's lead drops to five. It's been nine a couple of times here in the first half. Mid post right to Lee. Lee nice. out to Harding for three, and that's good. That's the one thing working for BYU right now is three-point shots. The Cougs now four for six from deep, four for 12 inside the arc. <laughs> well, we've seen that before, and also helps that SU's 0 for six. Maybe go to his own, make them make some threes because it's a layup drill for him in the paint. 24 to 16, BYU's lead. Jacoby Long shoves away Toulson. Left elbow jumper, back rim, rebound Colby Lee. BYU's out, bo- I tied, bag your pardon, with the boards 10 10 with SUU. Alex Barcelo, no look whip in the right corner to Harding. Harding will spin to the block, send to Barcelo, who comes back to meet. A little fake pass, jump hook, and just off the iron, no good for AB. Barcelo is now 0 for 3 from the field. Rebound to the T Birds. BYU's up 8, 24 to 16. Andre Adams gives it up. Turnover, Southern Utah. Ahead from Haas to Harding to AB. Lay off the window and good. Went in anyway. It was a goaltending. So they call the goaltend with six minutes to go. The shots counted good. And BYU takes a 26 to 16 lead. First 10-point cushion of the night for BYU with six even to go till halftime. You should get extra points if it's a goaltending and you make the shot. Or Mark's new rules for <laughs> next year. Nice four on two, and that started with a good knockaway in SUU's early offense, which gave BYU the advantage coming back the other way. Dalton Nixon, I think, got a hand on it. He's got a cut on his eye, but playing through it. So BYU's first double-digit lead, now at 26-16. T-Bird basketball, six even to go till the break. We'll call that last shot from Alex Barcelo, our Zions Bank shot of the game. Brought to you by Zions Bank for a financial slam dunk. Zions Bank is for you. His own look for BYU. T-Birds beneath the basket with John Knight the third. Gets it up to go. Right beneath the hoop. John Knight the third with his first two. No threes for Southern Utah tonight. Three for Dalton Nixon. That's back ironed. And the rebound to David Njai. Njai clears to Jacoby Long. Long front court right side. Now to the bump. Dre Marine fakes to his left, gives to his right straight away to Jacoby Long. Southern Utah 0 for 6 from 3. BYU 4 for 7. That's your difference maker right now. The Cougs lead by 8, 26 to 18. Penetration Marine, no. Fouled on the way. He'll get free throws with 5.20 to go until the break. Foul on Dalton Nixon. Dalton's first. BYU's fourth to 6 for Southern Utah. It was 5-0 at one point, so BYU's had four of the last five whistles go against it. As to the line... We'll go Dre Marine, the six foot, 170 pound junior from Glendale, Arizona. And one of the few contributing non transfers on this team. They're full of good transfers, are the T Birds. Marine makes his first free throw. In t- just two games this year, he's shooting 86% from the strike coming in. Makes them both. He was fifth in the Big Sky Conference in free throw percentage last year. And there's a solid two for two to make it a six-point game. Four in a row for Southern Utah. 26-20, the Cougar lead. 5-15 to play until halftime. Marcelo out front. Gives there to Harding. Hands on the wing left to Toulson. As BYU weaves it out front. Marcelo to Nixon in the paint. Nixon low, base, middle, back to base, blocked. And out of bounds off of Southern Utah. It'll stay Cougar possession. Cougars having tough luck at the rim. Better luck outside the arc. BYU's up 6, 26-20, 4.57 to play. BYU's tallest player on the floor right now is Dalton Nixon at 6-7. That's, that's tough, but it also gives you some advantages. It's really spread the floor, and also on defense, you can switch everything. There's nobody that can't guard anybody else for SUU. Marcelo into Dalton. Dalton will drive it. Stumble into the alley. Throw up the left hand somehow, but it bounces out. BYU's lead stays 6. 4.45 to play till halftime. John Knight goes left block to Njai to the cutter Knight. Knight runs into the alley, squeezes it up, spins out, foul. And now it's all the fouls against BYU. Trevin Nell picks it up. So now five of the last six fouls have gone against BYU after the first five went against Southern Utah. Free throw here for John Knight, the third, out of Jacks, Mississippi, Utah State transfer. He was actually in this building last year with the Aggies. 11 points, 4 rebounds, and an assist for Utah State on this floor last season. Free throw rattles home. He's got three. Super athletic guy. Strong. 
BYU doesn't really have anyone that can match him. You just try and make him shoot over. You hope he misses, but really strong-looking guy. Got the old Zach. Se so a couple of these SCU guys wear shorts like I did when I was back in '89, Greg. John Knight the third going with the bright red frohawk <laughs> tonight. And speaking about short shorts, old Harrison Butler, man, that's. Look at him, Greg. Number, <laughs> you kidding me? But he's got the tights. He's got the tights to help to help minimize the uh, the. Uh, if he didn't have the, the tights, impact. we'd have an honor code violation. <laughs> two for two for John Knight the third, and Southern Utah taking that 10-point deficit. And it's four, just like that, six in a row. Just hanging around, ask Nebraska how that went for them. 14-point lead dissipated <laughs> in Lincoln on the weekend for the Huskers. They lose in double overtime, and here BYU's double-digit lead has been cut down to four in a hurry. BYU in backcourt, T.J. Haas will work it from right to left down the floor. Four and a half to go till halftime. Southern Utah hanging around after BYU got up 10. Toulson on a post feed. Spins on Jacoby Long and softly jump hooks over him for the score. Jake Toulson puts BYU back up six, 28-22 for Jake. That's six points on the night. Camelouyaton, stripe extended left. Drives, pulls it back out, lobs it to Butler, mid-post left. Harrison Butler with a drift pass to no one as Fawcett left his position, so that was sailed right out of bounds. Turnover for SUU. That's turnover number 10 on the night to 5 for BYU. Speaking of Mohawks, Gioli almost got a Mohawk there with that <laughs> basketball. He wasn't ready for it. <laughs> took, out, took out his fro there. So target practice in the BYU team area on that pass. I like going back to Jake, Greg. You know, that's good isolation. He's able to post up these guards for SUU. TJ, dribble handoff right wing to AB. Barcelo, top side, Toulson, cycled to sell you, stripe extended left. Short corner feed, Jake. Jake, one bounce, go, Jake, two bounce, go. and three and four. Soft with the right hand, short on it, and loose ball foul against BYU. Team fouls are now 6-6. Six, six. Isn't that something? The first five against Southern Utah, six of the next seven go against BYU, and timeout on the floor. Both teams will be shooting next foul. 3.47 to play. The Cougar leads six, 28-22. We're taking timeout on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Number four, Louisville leading Indiana State, 72-45. With eight minutes to go in that game, just under five minutes to go, number 11, Texas Tech, with a 30-point lead over Houston Baptist, 95-65. to 65. Now back over to the Mo Betta's courtside seats over at the Marriott Center and rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jeff, thank you. Fillmore Spencer is Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Mason Fawcett for three, and that's... No good, as they've all been for Southern Utah now. Yeah. 0 for 7 from 3 are the T-Birds. Rebound Barcelo, down floor Toulson. Opens up for Jake, takes contact from Fawcett, and he scores it with the foul. Jake Toulson to the rim, up and in, and Fawcett hit him. He'll go to the line to complete a three-point play. BYU's lead back to 8 now, 30-22, to 22, and Jake can make it 9 at the line. 3.21 to play here in the first half. Jake's been the points in the paint guy for BYU as he breaks down his man from the three-point line, gets to the rim on Fawcett. So team foul number seven against Southern Utah, and yes, seven players, one foul apiece for Southern Utah. BYU has six fouls, but two players with already two each, Nixon and Selyus. Free throw, Toulson, good. 31-22, lead was to 10, got down to four, back up to nine, with 3-19 to play until halftime. Long, right wing, Oluyatin. The post feed right block to Morgan. High to Oluyatin. Open top of the key. We'll pass it off to Butler. Harrison Butler will drive, take some contact, and missed a shot on the scoop. But he's hit. He'll go to the line for two. And that'll be against Colby Lee. Lee picking up foul number one. Team foul seven against BYU. Both teams shoot the rest of the way, one and one for the time being. But this is a two-shot foul as Harrison Butler is in the act of shooting. He has six points. Goes to the line for two. Harrison Butler out of Santa Ana, California. Misses the first free throw strong. He was eighth in the Big Sky Conference in both rebounding and field goal percentage last year. He started the uh, T-Birds first game, came off the bench in game two, came off the bench here tonight as well. 
Six points lead his team on the evening. Second free throw. Good. One for two on the trip. He's got seven, and the lead is eight for BYU, 31-23. Next up for the BYU Cougars, 48 hours from now, the Houston Cougars. Then it'll be Boise State on the road next Wednesday. Then the Cougs will head to the islands for three at the Maui Invitational. T.J. Haas into front court, sprinting it left. Dribble handoff to Jake on the arc left side. Toulson to the free throw line, still on the bounce. Pulls it out to the top of the key, releases to Celia. Celia's backdoor Barcelo. Barcelo was sent through a fake by T.J., a drive and a send high to Celia. Celia will back it up, 10-second shot clock. T.J. will fake the three, will drive it on Knight, hang at the rim and miss it wide right. Wow. To Celius on the opposite Gotta rebound, shoot. didn't hit the rim. It's a three that's made, and they wave it off, and they say the shot, shot, clock, stopped. The shot wow. clock stopped. Are you kidding me? BYU shot it. They weren't sure if it hit the rim, so the shot clock stopped. And as TJ's in his motion to shoot a three, they blow it dead, and, and he, he makes, makes the it. three. <laughs> wow. Well, it all comes down to... The shot clock operator not knowing what to have done there on that one miss. Didn't hit the, I didn't think it hit the rim, right? Or did yeah, you think it touched it? I think the right call was that it didn't, but that they, they were able to get the shot from TJ plenty of time. Right, right. But they, and he they was aware. They were. I think the players were playing as if they had to get the shot off, and yes. they did. The shot did not hit the rim. The shot clock, Vern Harris said, stopped, and the officials blew the play dead right as TJ Haas makes mm-hmm. a three-point basket that would have given BYU an 11-point lead. Burn raises his hand right as TJ's releasing that. Tough, tough break. So BYU will probably get it with just a, a few, se- well, maybe just the five seconds. I don't I don't know how they do that. Do they go review this to when Vern blew the whistle? Because then it's like one second left. But BYU ran the play the way they do it, where they were to have run it late in the shot clock. Listen, BYU had SU on their heels, and Zach Selyus had a wide open three. Why is Zach not shooting that? He passes out of it, and then they're scrambling to, to get a shot off, miss it badly, and they do get the shot from TJ. But, man, Zach Selyus, as good as you are, if you're open, shoot the dang ball. Had Zach not gotten in foul trouble against San Diego State, the way he was playing, I would have liked to have seen what the Cougars could have done with him yeah. on the floor, continuing to make shots as he was at the time. He got hot and then had to sit on some dubious Foul calls on the uh, BYU front end on Saturday afternoon. BYU fans, whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view, StubHub is the best place to grab your Cougar tickets. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. StubHub, be there. Vern Harris still taking a long look at the uh, courtside monitor on this clock issue. They're going to put it at two. A two-second shot clock. What they should have done is just taken it right from the rebound and put it under the basket. With five. With five seconds. So now it's a two-second shot clock. Man, that's, it's that's about crazy. It's, a, it's about where it was when TJ shot it, right? right? But that was in the motion of the play. Now they have to create with two. And they're going to put it where TJ, where, where Vern blew the whistle. So even though they used clock and they got the shot they wanted, they're going to put them right back there. So on the sideline, right in front of the Southern Utah team area to the adjacency of the bench, it'll be BYU with a two-second shot clock. Celius on the sideline. And then a kick or a send out by the T-Birds on the inbounds entry. will stay at two. They'll move Celius about two feet down the floor. That was a kick. Shouldn't that give him some more time? If it's a kick... And I now, now Mike's looking at the clock and discussing exactly what just transpired or whether time should have gone off. But yeah. the ball had barely entered the uh, playing court when it was kicked right back out. It hit a player and went out. So they'll time have, should have gone off. They'll maybe. have him do it again. They'll keep it at two. Into TJ. TJ with a bounce, a lean in, a shot from deep, and banged <laughs> it in from three. The ball don't lie. And they're going to review this. Well, that took a lot of time for two seconds. He caught it, faked, dribbled, shot it, made it, and it was clearly off before the buzzer went off, but the the, the 20, the, thir- the, the shot clock should have gone off sooner. I noticed when he caught it, it didn't start immediately. So back to the monitor they go. <laughs> I don't know how you can not give him that, though, because it left his hand, in my eye, well before the buzzer went off. Yeah, that part is true. The shot's out of his hand before the shot clock was off. So that, that may be all they're looking for Right. is just that, in which case they'll they'll count the bucket, and, and in the end they'll get three points out of it and be leading by 11 at 34-23. 
Longest two seconds wow. ever because you had an inbounds that got hit and knocked out, and then you had TJ do all that stuff and still get a shot off. But they are back at the monitor, and this all happening with uh, roughly 2.30 to go in the first half. We're now at 2.27, oh. and BYU's lead for the time being is sitting at 31-23. to 23. If they call it good from TJ, it's he'll a, end up with 10 here in the first half to lead BYU. This is a big call. That's a double-digit 11-point lead with that three. Well, I hope they're looking at something else because there's no question that the shot was off before the buzzer or light went off on the basket. In this case, all Haas is really looking for is clock and time and light, and he got it off. I mean, if, they, if, yeah. if the shot clock started a fraction not, too late. Not the player's fault. It's not the player's fault, right. And if TJ doesn't get it, he's like, what do I have to do to get a three-pointer counted around here? I've made two in this possession already. So we sit and we wait and we watch and we wonder what Vern Harris is going to decide to do here. And I, I don't know in this situation that he can take points off the board and say the clock didn't start in time. You know, replays are great, but man, I miss the old days where you just, let's just play. And he may know? be a little upset at the shot clock operator relative to the last two things that occurred, both on the missed shot and then the starting of the clock on the entry, but either way. All things considered, I think <laughs> BYU got what they should have got. Lengthy delay here. This has been, it's been five or six minutes with maybe one or two seconds going off the clock. Yeah. And this all with BYU leading it for the time being 31 to 23. And again, Vern Harris and Kelly Self remain at the monitor as Mike Reed's trying to keep the peace with uh, both bench areas here. Southern Utah looking for its first ever win over BYU. Cougs are 11-0 all-time against the T-Birds. All 11 games played here at the Marriott Center. No basket, says Vern Harris. Well, I, 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 I'd I, like I, just, I can't imagine. I mean, unless they say it should have started, he didn't get it off in that amount of time. Yeah, I guess they went back and they did match the clock with the real time, and the shot clock was superseded by the officials' timekeeping. And they say no basket. So the shot clock didn't start on time. That's and that was it. Craziest things I've seen. Wow. The clock did not start on time. And off the inbounds, a reverse lay-in in front court for Andre Adams at the end of that. So Southern Utah draws within six, 31-25. So the clock operator inadvertently taking points off the clock or points off the board, if you will, for Twice. BYU. Pause for three. There we go. <laughs> okay, so, wait. No whistle. <laughs> no checking clock. He got that one. So this would be uh, what they call the ball don't lie moment <laughs> at 34 to 25 with 144 to play. John Knight will drive, hang, and hit. Wow, John Knight the third just drifting to the rim for six. And Southern Utah's within seven, 34-27. Shot missed by Barcelo deep, and he's having a tough first half. The rebound to Harrison Butler. Southern Utah to front court with 1.20 to go. Butler runs over Barcelo. Alex draws the charge. Non-shooting. Team foul number eight for SUU. 1.19 to play until halftime. So Alex Barcelo, interestingly, has not fouled yet in two and a half games and has drawn somewhere in the vicinity of eight or nine fouls. Well, that shot for him was better. He wasn't challenging. He found that sweet spot. He's just got to take his time and hit that little shot. So BYU up seven. 115 to go till halftime. TJ's had a good first half. Ten points for Haas. Colby straddling the three-point line left side. Let's traffic clear. Beautiful dish back door to Barcelo. Colby Lee to Alex Barcelo. And Alex lays it up and in. What a great pass from Colby. Cougs up nine, 36-27. AB's got four. Oluyatin. Half penetration to Lee. Lee uh, Knight will drive it to the rim and again scoop and score. John Knight, the third, got eight. Colby's getting screened out of there by Adams, and that's a wide open alleyway. 36 29, 35 seconds to go until halftime. TJ from the right elbow jumps it off balance, front rims it. And the T Birds can play for nearly a final shot, but they want to go right to the rim. They go to the rim and score it just like that. Jacoby Long. 
all the way to the 10 for two, and BYU's lead down to five. Now the Cougars have the final shot of half number one. BYU should lead by no fewer than five at the break. 36-31, 15 seconds to go until halftime. BYU's not taking a first half timeout, and they will not take a first half timeout, it appears. TJ will drive it and lose it on the drive. Or is it off of Southern Utah to bounce? They're going to change it to go to BYU. Said got knocked out of TJ's hands. Seven seconds. 7.2. We think. <laughs> yeah. BYU with a timeout that they will otherwise lose here in the first half if they don't call it, and they will not. They will simply inbound. Hawes into Harding at the far sideline. Straight away lead. They give the TJ with four and with three. He's hit at the wrong. Oh, now, offensive foul on the final possession with three seconds to go, and Southern Utah can now play wow. for a final shot again. What a... I mean, you don't want to hard. That's a that's a bad call. The defender didn't even fall down, and you're uh, he's their biggest guy, and you're saying TJ charge. I mean, come on. Both teams will finish half number one with eight team fouls. That goes against Hawes, and the T-Birds have three seconds now, down five. Into backcourt Knight with two and with one half court jumper. No good. At the break, BYU 36, Southern Utah 31. Halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.